I'm Steve Tyrell, and I met Lou Soloff 51 years ago when I moved to New York City. He was one of the first people I ever met, and we were the only two white guys that went on the road with Chuck Jackson's band. Um, he was a one-of-a-kind person that had uh, the kindest heart that you would ever want any of your friends to have. Everybody loved him, uh, everybody in the band, all the people that uh, ever knew Lou had a special place for him. He, he did things his own way. We'd go on the, on the road together, he'd be the first guy at the, uh, you know, in line to get a ticket to make sure he got a, oh, you know, at the front of the plane. Because he said, man, if this thing goes down, I want to be on the front of the plane. <laughs> he had millions of little things like that. He was a great musician. He played the most heartfelt, beautiful stuff that knocked everybody out everywhere we went. Lou surprised me at my 70th birthday by being there, even though he had a gig that night, and welcoming me when I walked in the door by playing Hill to the Chief. Little did I know that that would be the last time I'd ever see Lou. But I know he's up there with CT right now, and those two guys are trading fours, looking down on this memorial with a warm heart and uh, serenading all of us from the great beyond. Rest in peace, my brother. We love you, man, and we always will. Smile.